How long were you talking me? I mean, most of your friends have been banned, yet you still seek minorities. I don't get it. Mentor, how is it that you only allow the flavors not associated with black lives to be taken? I mean, am I paranoid, or is this a divisive plan to take out the black community? Anyway, I applaud your ability to market my people at a time when my people weren't considered marketable. But at what cost? Your strategy seems to be counterproductive. Although you gave money to community groups and political causes, your infiltration methods have also produced more black coffins. How many of the black youth are forced to see what's left of their parents' caucus? Yes, it is a choice to smoke you. But at what point does a choice become predetermination? You have pumped my community with advertisement and flavors. Advertisement and flavors. Advertisement and flavors. Your aggressive campaigning has led to generation on generation of learned behavior. Your targeting systems have locked solely onto my father, my mother, my sister, my brother, me. Can't you see the ever in your ways, but is it ever when it's done intentionally? In 1953, 5% of blacks who smoke consumed you, triple that. 1968, 14% consumed you, triple that. 1976, 42% consumed you. Now in the 2000s, 80% of blacks who smoke abuse you. Our death rates rise with your profits. And there is too much money to be made to stop it. Why should I hope to see change? You have created for us a new form of change. Bondage, limited choices, a predetermined health condition, a cage. Your actions are Judas. You befriended me to infiltrate my core, disguised as feel good and relief. I finally stepped out of cause and seen the effects of how abusive you really are. I'm glad that I let you know about yourself. Because if we were really cool, you would let me go. But we're not. So, how long will you target me? <laughs>